Welcome to the 1830s. We're playing a game called Railroad Corporation. Uh, this game is just out in early access now, and it's actually something I had the opportunity to try out while I was at PAX East. Uh, and essentially, we're just we're building a railroad. Um, we're starting off in the, the the height of the the whole railroad revolution, uh, where we have to try to build out a successful money-making railroad system to connect different cities, supply different resources to different places. Kind of like uh, the old Railroad Tycoon games, but uh, this one, of course, just came out. Uh, I, I did, uh, as I said, I did get a chance to play this at, uh, at PAX East, and it was kind of neat, so I kind of wanted to, to check it out. Welcome to the company. We've received a large order. Mr. Denman, an entrepreneur from Cincinnati, has asked me to supply him up to five carriages of steel. Time's running out, and Mr. Denman has even sent a prepayment for the order, which is awesome because we're going to need the cash. Uh, first things first, find a city with a steel mill, find out what raw materials they have, if they can build a railroad to that city to supply steel with, uh, the steel mill with the necessary raw materials, and deliver the newly produced steel to Cincinnati. So there's kind of a lot going on in this first mission. Uh, note that the steel mill will not give us their products for free. Using Mr. Denman's prepayment, we should invest in the development of the local railroad network, and our company will have a stable resource of income from transportation and other commodities. So really, it's all about creating a good bankroll. Uh, they've given us $50,000. Oh, actually, uh, the bank, uh, with which we have an account, allows us to have an overdraft of up to 50000 However, if you exceed this limit, all our corporations with money will be frozen. That's probably not a good thing. So you have to be a little bit careful about going bankrupt. All right, so we have a number of different uh, number of different missions we have to complete here. So we have to do iron ore delivery uh, to the steel mill. That's in Barnstable Town. Uh, we have to make coal delivery to the steel mill in Barnstable Town. So those are the two resources we'll need. Work faster for an experience bonus. I guess if we do the mission quickly, we get an experience bonus, which should help out there too. And technology investment. Create a research and development department in your office located in Bowling Green. This will provide an opportunity to improve the existing locomotives and invent new ones. That's probably a good thing, since the locomotive they gave me in the tutorial mission, which I've already gone past, was not exactly uh, what we would call amazing. So uh, here's, the, here's the, the steel mill down here. Uh, so they need coal and they need steel with a steel mill, and that will let them produce uh, actual supplies of steel. Okay, Bowling Green is where we've decided to set up our home base, apparently. It just sort of picks it for you. Uh, this is the little little town that we're working out of, and this uh, this poor house that's sitting here right in front of the, the train station is probably not going to want to stay there. I'm feeling like their property values are going to drop dramatically when I run a track through their living room. Nevertheless, uh, we do need to build some sort of like a research station here. Uh, then we're going to have to connect up tracks in order to get supplies from one place to another. So we can buy trains and stuff. Uh, I have no idea how to go about building the, the research area. Oh, what's this here? Uh, office. Okay, so here's our main office right down here. It's a tiny little building right here. Kane Eastern Railway in Bowling Green. Upkeep's $200 a month. Uh, we have a little bit of space. Office departments. Railroad line department set up. Let's see about... I can't do anything with the office departments yet. Install a new office department, so we'll set that up. There we go. Research and development department is required to run locomotive technology research. Uh, initial number of scientists will get 10 people. That's going to cost us 5,000. It's going to take three rooms. Uh, we don't have three rooms. We have one room. Well, one occupied space. Total space five. We have no space available. So I've actually got to upgrade this a couple times. Oh, okay, apparently just once was enough. <laughs> I, I thought I would have to do it like once for each room we're going to add. But we have enough now, so we can install that. Uh, so we have a fancier building now. It's looking pretty swanky for such a tiny little town. Okay, research and development. Your company now has a research department. Let's see what we can do here. I don't, I don't see how I actually do the actual... Oh, there we go. Research department up here. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting a whole research tree with this game. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we have a few things that we can work on upgrading. So we can upgrade power and max speed. Pulling mass, uh, locomotive best friend we already have, by the looks of it. This one's completed. Um, so these are the ones we can branch off of it. If we go to max speed, we can we can crank that up. It's going to take 125 days. 650 days to improve our pulling mass, which would be good for hauling steel, I would think. Fuel consumption, we can make that better. Locomotive conditions worsen with time. Higher lifetime means longer service and fewer breakages. That's probably, probably a good thing to have. Reliability... Increase the uh, reliability of locomotive at high mileage to reduce chance of breakage. Uh, so let's maybe work on um, increasing the max speed so we can get our trains to go from one place to another more quickly. Uh, oh, and we can assign scientists to that. So we'll put five on that, and then I think we'll work on reliability. Um, 
Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Okay, so probably it doubles the research time or whatever by having two of them going, but that's all right. This small town has a has a sawmill in it, so they're gonna need lumber. Uh, I'm gonna look for a place that this one actually this produces wheat, which we could take over here to sell. And that would give us meat from a small farm. Uh, here's a lumber mill here, okay, so or a logging area. So maybe we should take the logging. We can run that into our uh, our train system over here. See if we can actually get a good angle to sort of connect this thing. Max speed 120, that'll be all right. So we'll do this to get some cash going. Uh, that's going to cost us 60, which is about $6,800. It costs quite a bit of money to run rails back in this era, I guess. Okay, so we have that. Um, now, I got the impression we already have a train, because I can see a T1, T1 here. Yeah, best friend. We already have this, so that's good. Uh, let's set up a route for this. So we're going to add station. We'll do Lakeville as the first one. We're going to load. Uh, we're going to load it up with wood. That goes over the max. I guess I can only do two at once. And then we'll add that to go to Bowling Green, where we will unload wood at the sawmill. Now we have an option of actually unloading at the city hall or unloading at the sawmill, but the sawmill seems to pay a little bit more for it. So that's where we're gonna send it. All right, let's get this rolling. Technology advantage. Now we can improve our locomotives or even research or even develop new ones. I'm sure that five research projects will be enough to keep our company updated. Uh, will it be a new locomotive or will we improve the existing ones? You decide. That must be this must that must be a well thought out plan. But hurry up, ensure the research ends before the delivery of steel in Cincinnati. Uh, there'll be a new shipment soon. I expect if things work out, then we'll be able to move more southward. All right. Uh, there is a real risk of hopelessly falling behind, and all our business will go downhill. We don't want to do that because there's our little locomotive going. So it's going to go all the way over to this other place over here. Where we have the lumber, uh, the uh, wasn't well, a lumber mill, but the uh, the logging area. Oh, that's cool. It's got little animations for like it tearing down the logs and stuff. How's it going to load it? Oh, it just does it magically. All right. I wonder if it keeps pulling down the same tree over and over. All right, we spent some money to load up our train with some logs. It's all set and ready to go. We only have two cars on here because this thing doesn't have the best pulling power. Uh, but that'll head back over to our lumber mill at Bowling Green, and that should uh, that should be a route that will produce a little bit of money for us. Okay, in order to produce the steel, we're going to need coal from the coal mines in New Orleans. So we can actually run a track to New Orleans, and then from there over to Barnstable Town. Uh, now we do need iron, and that's going to come from Winchester, so we'll have to run the track then all the way up to Winchester in order to get the supplies there. That's going to be kind of a lot of money to run all that track. I'm sort of hoping our, uh, our train that we have sort of in progress here will start to make a little decent amount of money, but let's see what it's going to take to run the track. So we have $45,000 to work with. If I run the train, I kind of want to... There we go. So that'll give me a little bit of the angle that I wanted to turn off on. This is going to cost us $20,000. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a track connected to New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans is going to be where we'll buy the coal from. Uh, $36,000 left. Uh, let's take another track. We'll run that from here over to Barnstable Town. That's going to cost us another $19,000 and change. Oh boy. The thing is, we're not going to get any output from this stuff either until we... So we get like this the uh, the iron going down there to run run the steel mill as well. Okay, so this is producing lumber. Can I send the lumber anywhere to sell it? Uh, these people want. Uh, there we go. We could send it up to Louisville. That's a short jaunt away from here. I mean, theoretically, we could run a track off of this. I think. Okay, yeah, we can split the track off, and I could run this over to here. That's that's a really funny turn. No, give me, give me something. There we go. 120. That would let me max out there. That would let me take the lumber that we're producing all the way up to this place. Uh, that's going to cost me 13000 I think I'm going to build that. We're going to take the train that we're getting the, uh, we're getting the, the raw wood from here. And let's take, is there anything I can bring back from there? This will sell meat, which we can then sell back to here. So I think we can create a bit of a loop. Uh, construct a repair shop. Since you're new here, I want to let you know that locomotives are wearing out. Time does not spare anyone, and the locomotives are no exception, especially if the transported cargo is heavy. The more the mileage and age of a locomotive, 
higher probability it's failure on the tracks to minimize the chance of a breakdown build a repair shops and stations and from time to time send locomotives there for maintenance okay well i just spent most of my money so unless we actually go into debt um, that's not really going to be a terribly viable option for me just now okay so this locomotive is going lake mill to bowling green let's add another station um uh, so bowling green again this time we're going to load it up with lumber from the sawmill uh, which we don't really have a lot of. Uh, that will max out our load by doing a double load on that. I don't know if we have enough wood to even do this. Um, then we'll add another station, and this is going to go up to Louisville, where we will unload our lumber. And then we'll add another station, and we'll send the train back to Barnstable Town. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Cancel this. We got to um, add a station. We'll choose Louisville. This time we're going to load it up with uh, meat from the small farm, which uh, we don't actually have any of. What about post office stuff? Can we send post? Oops, we can't. Um, see, we have passengers we can send. So we'll send passengers. They, they pay more for the longer the distance you travel anyway, so that's probably a good option. Uh, so we'll go Louisville, we'll take, uh, we'll load on some passengers. And that should give us a pretty decent route that we can take that should make us some money. So we're picking up logging, we're taking here making, uh, making lumber. Uh, the lumber we're going to take up here to drop off to make money. We'll pick up passengers, we'll bring them back down here, then we'll go back for more logging stuff. Uh, now the only trouble is our, our train is, is like 55% for its condition, which is not great. And we only have a little bit of money. So what do we need to do to build a repair station? Okay, there we go. To build a new a new section, we have to go down here. We can upgrade our station for 3,000. Uh, that'll give us more rooms and we can add facilities. So we have a filling station here now. Let's upgrade for 3,000. This is getting really expensive. We're down to 3,900. What do we need for a new facility? Filling station speed up. A repair shop is going to cost us 3000 Boy, oh boy. Uh, we're really cutting it close on finances, but... Uh, let's see. Price per service is 300 at least. It's going to take two rooms. I guess we'll install the repair shop because we're going to need it. There we go. And I think we can upgrade the other buildings too, potentially. Uh, no, the sawmill, we can't, we can't really upgrade too much. Our poor little train is hauling this lumber, but it is a heavy load. I have it maxed out, and the train is, like, super slow. This is going to take a long time to get up there. I even have this thing. Oh, there we go. So we have the have the game running at max speed, and that's as fast as this poor little train can go. It's not ideal. I'll give you that. Okay, we did finish a couple of research items, but we're actually in the red now, money-wise. Uh, we can go to a 50,000 overdraft, so i got to be a little bit careful, but... Um, we, we paid some extra money. It seems like each station we stop at, there, it incurs an additional charge to move on to the next next spot in the line. So when we sell the lumber over here, uh, we're going to get 8,500. 8,580, I guess, for every 20 tons of it. Uh, the train is currently hauling... The train's currently hauling 40 tons of it, so we should get a decent amount of money. It should be like 16,000 when we get there, but you can see we're, we're just constantly going down in money right now. All right, it was a long, slow haul, but we finally made it to Louisville with that wood. Uh, we're pretty much in the red at this point. Give me a good amount of cash. There we go. That's what we want to see. Uh, okay, so we, we got a good amount of money there. Now the train is going to head back, and it's going significantly faster now that it's just hauling passengers instead of, uh, instead of wood. So it should haul back here. The passengers will pay a decent amount because they're traveling fairly far. Uh, and then one bulk load of time can be maintained, price per service. So... I gotta figure out how to send the train in for servicing when it comes back here, because I don't entirely know how to do that. Okay, there we go. I figured it out. So it, it looks like uh, now every time the train comes back to this station at this part of the, the leg of the journey, it should go in for repairs, uh, which will cost us a bit of money. It actually costs us quite a bit of money. And before it heads out for the next the next leg of the journey, it's at twenty six percent. It didn't even fix it. That's a problem. Well, that's a problem. I thought I was scheduling for the train to go in for repairs, but it just wasn't. We got down to a condition of 8%. My train is stuck here on the track, and it's apparently broken down. And I really have no idea how to fix it. <laughs> but, but I'm broken on the way. Um, that's a problem. We did get some cash. I mean, I, I, a couple of routes 
back and forth and we made some good money, but I can't figure out how to get to go in for servicing. Um, scrap the train and gain some money. You're about to scrap your locomotive and receive 7,000 in your account. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. We're going to have to buy a new one. Poor little train. At least we can scrap it on the track. Now I have to build a whole new route, unfortunately, for this new train that we're going to buy. 14,000. So we got half the price of the train back. That's really not that bad. Okay, we finished that last research. Unable to start the research. All scientists are busy at the moment. Oh, okay. We got all 10 of them now. All right. So this should go really quickly. Uh, we'll have our next engine. And I'm going to buy that second engine to run this leg right here to take the coal from New Orleans over to Barnstable, Barnstable Town. And hopefully we can make some money off of that. Also, we're still continuing to earn money off of this route, which is great as it goes back and forth. Uh, our engine is staying in reasonably good condition, but it looks like each time we get it serviced, the max condition of the the engine is going down. So we'll definitely have to replace that again over time. All right, the locomotive John Bull is just finishing up. So now we have access to that train, which is great. Let's pause this for a second. Uh, I am on a bit of a timeline to try to get the, the mission finished relatively soon. So we can increase the speed on it. We can increase the power, which improves the acceleration. Or we can improve the pulling mass. Uh, or we can boost the reliability, increases the reliability of a locomotive at high mileage. Fuel consumption or improve that or aging. Locomotive condition worsens with time. Higher lifetime means service. All right, I'm gonna go with this. It's gonna cost me 700, which is fine. Uh, we'll get them working on that, and we'll also work on the reliability, I guess. Okay. Now we're gonna need to buy that engine. Uh, it's gonna cost us 23,000, which is a fairly decent amount. Uh, we're gonna start it from New Orleans. We'll load it up with coal. I have no idea how heavy the coal is. Alright, so we can do like three loads of coal at a time. We only have to bring five over here to make the steel, I guess. Unload the coal there. Now this produces steel, which I can't do anything with at the moment. But this will be a good start. Uh, we'll just get that running on that particular schedule. At least be with 8,000. I'd like to run a track all the way up here to Winchester so we can get the ore, but I'm going to need a little more money, I think. Um, this particular track is going to cost me... 34,000 because we have to put in a bridge. That's not great. I wonder if I went down here. Ooh, that's, that turn is not favorable at all. Uh, if we go this way, it's going to cost me 47000 because we actually have to do tunneling. No, there's no tunneling. Just, um, just a longer track, uh, which is not ideal. So I'm going to let that go. We'll go for the, uh, the route that takes us over to Winchester. All right, we only have five days left to get this work fast experience. Um, so 35,000, I'm gonna go into the red to try and try and see if we can get this objective. I don't know if it's gonna give me just bonus experience or if we'll get like a cash bonus, but. Uh, so we'll confirm that. That is definitely gonna put us way down there. Uh, now fortunately when this locomotive sells its load here, we'll get a little cash. I'm gonna use, uh, we'll add a station and we'll say from Winchester, I want you to load up on iron ore which you can only carry a, a double load of. Uh, I have to get 10 of them delivered. I don't think we're gonna have time for this. Uh, and then we're gonna unload that at Barnstable Town. Okay, and I'm worried that this, this engine is gonna break down on me. So I'm gonna upgrade this location. I know it's gonna take us into the red uh, to add a new facility so we can install a repair shop. And then for that locomotive, we're gonna set it up so every time it goes through Barnstable Town, we want it to repair. See if I can try to get it to work a little bit better. That's all applied, and we're off. 3,900 in the hole, but we can go as far as 50,000 in the hole, so I'm, w I'm willing to run a little bit of a negative amount. Unfortunately, you know, the, the daily payment does add up, but... Work faster for an experience bonus. We failed that one, unfortunately. The task just too long, but we do have an option to get be efficient and get experience, so we can get... Uh, if you complete the mission in 480 days, you'll receive additional experience of 200. Never know what your boss might be planning. All right, so we'll get we'll get rid of that. Uh, we have our first load of iron ore delivered. We need, uh, need four more of those before we're actually we can check this one off. But we're back in the black, so that's good. We're making money, such as it is. Our final load of iron ore is coming to Barnstable Town, which will let us complete the iron ore delivery mission, and hopefully this will knock out the whole thing. Oh, okay, now we actually have to make a de delivery. Excellent. All raw materials for steel production have been delivered. Now we just have to pass this deal to Mr. Denman in Cincinnati. Time's running out, so hurry up. Uh, oh, I thought I thought I, once I completed that, I was going to be done. Um, okay. So we need to run a rail up to Cincinnati. The trouble is... Oh, there we go. They are looking for steel now. 30 tons of it. 
Oh, that's going to be a long way up there. So we do have a decent amount of cash. 76,000, uh, which is the plus side. The downside is that this is going to cost us a lot to run our way up to Cincinnati here. Particularly since it's taking a really circuitous route. There we go. That's going to be 120 up to Cincinnati. Uh, it's going to cost me 85,000. So we're going to go in the red in order to accomplish this. But we'll confirm that. Um, now, the train is in here getting repaired right now. So I can take my first load of steel right away. Uh, it's then, again, it's going to put me in the red. Hopefully, uh, it's not going to put me so far in the red if I do this right away that we'll run out of we'll run out of money. So let's go ahead and we'll add a station now. So after it's gone to Barnstable Town, uh, we'll go ahead and send it up to Cincinnati. It's for contract, though, which means it's not going to pay me any money. Because it's not giving me a dollar amount. Oh, they prepaid for the steel. This is going to be an expensive proposition. I, I, this might actually bankrupt me. I might be doing. I might be trying to push this a little bit too fast to try to meet this optional objective. But we're about to find out. Dear customer, we bring to your attention that you have a line of credit with our bank. Maximum overdraft allowed is fifty thousand. Please note if you exceed this limit, your account transaction will be stopped. Your company will be frozen. Please, oh please, don't make me go bankrupt hauling this load of steel. How much is it going to cost me? Oh, it's not even taking the steel yet. Oh, it's going to have to go through a whole route before it'll take it up there. Uh, we have to deliver five of them. I can do two at a time. How's our research going? Okay, we've increased the max pulling again. Let's increase the max speed again. Take an overdraft for 5,600. Sure, why not? Let's get her done. Move fast. Well, I think I've had a problem. We actually maxed out the cargo requirement here for the coal. And I can't unload all the coal that I just hauled in here. Um, that's a bit of a problem. So your customer who wished to inform you have used more than half of your overdraft funds available from our bank. That's a problem. We, I think we started down a slippery slope by going into the overdraft. I probably shouldn't have rushed the trip up to Cincinnati until I'd made a little more money. Uh, it doesn't help that I maxed out the coal, so I couldn't unload properly. I'm still carrying a load of coal in the back of this thing, but at least now this, the uh, steel mill is in the process of making steel which will consume some of the coal. Uh, I do need to change our route a little bit though. Uh, let's uh, let's set this up so it doesn't load as much coal. Which will cost a little less to buy, but we'll make a little less when we sell. Um, unfortunately, when we deliver the steel up here, it, although it's costing us money to haul it up there, we're not gonna make any money for selling it, which is really not ideal. Okay, it looks like actually we've got more than enough coal on this line right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this route and alter it. I can pick the train. Okay. Uh, we don't really want to go the coal route anymore. So we're going to stop at the coal. No more trip to New Orleans and back. We'll just make iron ore deliveries and steel deliveries. Um, that will save me the trouble of... No, don't go there. Ugh, where are you going? told you not to go there. I, I didn't get there fast enough. So it's making the route for nothing, which is just going to cost me money and time. Fired! <laughs> Results! Hot steel for Cincinnati. Duration 144. Alright, so uh, rushing that trip to uh, rushing that trip to Cincinnati apparently did not do me any favors. I'm not sure whether it was just a function of time or money. I, th I think I went too far into the red. Unfortunately... Nevertheless, uh, we did obtain some experience. We got a little bit better at that. Uh, I'm going to tackle this mission again. We'll get past it so we can move on to the next one. I, I think it was just a function of uh, trying to hurry a little bit too much. That time thing sort of throws me off because I'm trying to hit that time target instead of paying attention to my finances because we were making really good money initially. But uh, this, again, has been Railroad Corporation. I want to say thanks again to Iceberg Interactive for the code to play the game. Uh, you can get this available on Steam now. It is in early access, so it's not a finished version of the game. There are still adding to it, so um, it's not exactly feature complete. But if you want to go check it out, the link for the game will be in the description down below. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.